welcome back so in today's video I'll be showing you how I use my Revlon volumizer and blow dryer okay so I will be starting with my hair products with the Afoji green tea restructurizer I'm just spraying that all over and working it in with my hands and next we're using Afoji Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner and doing the same thing and of course my hair has been washed and deep conditioned and now we're gonna add my heat protector I'm using the Cantu brand but typically I would use my Tresemme thermal heat one that one is just the one that I have on hand and of course we're combing it through so yeah just working it through making sure that the hair is evenly coated and I'm just showing you how my hair looks before I start the blow drying process and now for the star of the show that is the Revlon volumizing blow dryer and hairbrush wow that's a mouthful um, but yeah I just showed you what it looks like and now you can see me actually using the blow dryer brush I like this because it really actually combines um, two things in one using a round brush and a blow dryer like I was having such a hard time struggling with a round brush and a blow dryer one in one hand one in the other it was just not working out so I had to try this product like and I will tell you if you watch till the end you will see the results okay mind you my hair is relaxed and dyed okay so if my hair does look a little bit on the drier side that is why but let me tell you when I'm all done here my hair will be so smooth so soft so light and movable like I'm totally impressed So yeah, as you can see, I'm just moving the brush from my root to the tip of my hair because I notice with my hair the ends often dry first so I spend a lot of time trying to get the roots concentrating on the roots. I know the video is sped up for convenience um, but let me tell you this process was so easy like I was able to finish blow drying my whole head in less than in less than 15 minutes I want to say um, yeah it was so easy and obviously if I had started with maybe 40% dry or 30% dry hair it wouldn't even take as long um, but yeah like it was so fast so easy literally one tool like this is genius I love it Okay, so once my hair is about 80% dry, you see me in the video just um, running the comb through and beginning to go in and separating it into a little bit smaller sections just to really get it dried and to get the smoothing and the volumizing effect. So that's just what you see me doing here and demonstrating to you how I use the brush. You could see I actually did get a little bit of volume that's not really the look I was going for in today's video maybe I'll do another video on that in the future so 
so yeah as you can see i'm just going through the little smaller sections and you know just twisting my wrist and um, rolling the brush outward just to give that slightly lifted look and i'm really going for smooth hair because with all my previous blow dryers my hair always ends up looking fried and frizzy so i really wanted to test out the smoothness of this um, particular product which was really quite impressive i must say so yeah that's just what i'm doing in the next few clips here Okay, you guys, look at how smooth this is coming out to be. Mind you, my hair is dyed, okay? And it might have a little damage going on. However, the results from this dryer brush, Revlon really did that. I'm very impressed, okay? Hey you guys you see this look really coming together like i mean this blow dryer brush literally made it look like my hair was not only blow dried but also straightened like look at this look at that look at that movement look at that swang okay look at that swang i am so in love with this brush okay I am so, so, so happy with the results, all right? After blow dry, I would just add a light oil to seal in my hair and wrap it up and I am good for the next day. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to check this blow dryer in the link down below. <music>